Hey everyone and welcome to the fifth Java CV tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be discussing about contour filtering operations in Java CV. So, okay, first of all, uh, you know, before beginning the program, I'll just briefly explain what I'm going to do today. Okay. Here, in the last uh, tutorial, I had shown, uh, you know, image filtering, I mean, color filtering operations in Java CV. So, for in this particular image, if I am interested in uh, this square particular, in this uh, blue color square pattern, uh, I have to perform two stages of operation I and mean two stages of filtering that is first one is the color filtering operation which I showed in the uh, last tutorial uh, the output of the color uh, filtering operation would be like this if I have you know given the blue colors uh, in the min uh, if I specify the blue colors in the minimum and maximum scalar quantity inside the CV in ranges function I will get the output uh, as like this uh, in this image and since I'm interested in uh, this particular blue, uh, you know, this particular uh, square pattern, uh, I need only this in the uh, final output. So in order to get uh, this uh, particular uh, square pattern, I need to do another filtering operation known as contour filtering operation. The output of the contour filtering uh, will be like this. That means in a binary image, these white pixels are treated as contours. So once the contours have been detected in an image, uh, we can filter them out uh, based upon their area. So I'm going to uh, find out the areas of these contours, all of these contours once they have been detected in a binary image. And I'm going to uh, calculate the maximum uh, area of the contour. That means the contour which has got the maximum area. And I'm going to eliminate all the other contours uh, except the maximum, uh, except the contour with the maximum area, just like this. The output of the contour filtering operation will be like this. So let's begin with the program. Uh, file new Java project. Java CV file. Next, build path libraries, external jar files, open hard export, select all, finish. New class, Java CV file, click on finish. Here we have uh, just import library files. Okay, now coming to the main part of the program. First of all, I'll just create the image variables. I do image img1, img hsv, img bin. Okay, once we're done with that, I'll just define the scalar quantities that is uh, minimum and maximum range for the CV in ranges function. I have defined it for the blue color channel. You can define it for anything, any other color channels. And the next one is CV seek contour. 1 equals new cv seek and another one on of 2 okay Th this is the new variable that is a cv seek that means cv sequence uh, sequence uh, you know in an image um, the array or an image is treated as a sequence in this uh, variable so uh, the con uh, we are going to define a new variable called as contour 1 and contour 2 uh, for this contour one, uh, we are going to assign uh, memory allocation as new CV seek. But for uh, contour two, we're just going to, you know, copy the contour one sequence into the contour two itself in the later uh, later in the program. So, next one, CV then storage storage equals CV mem. Storage dot create. Okay, uh, this is the storage variable. This is used to store the contours once the contours has been detected. Okay, next one, uh, I'll just define double area max equals thousand area c equals zero. That means Okay, in here, I have declared a double variable uh, called area max and an area c. That means area max is for the maximum area of the contour, and uh, okay, wait, maximum area of the contour, and uh, area c is for just area of the contour. This is for calculating, uh, you know, area of each contour, and this is for uh, calculating the maximum area of the contours. I mean, the contour which has got the maximum area. Okay, I have initialized this area max to the thousand because uh, there will be tiny noises uh, in an image. So those noise, you know, all those noises are uh, treated as uh, contours in a cv find contour function, and we don't want 
to calculate all those tiny uh, contours or tiny noises in an image. Okay, I have, uh, I have initialized this thousand because only uh, the areas, only the contours which have got the areas which is greater than thousand should be taken into consideration for calculating the area. Okay, these are the variables which are to be initialized before going to the main program. And now, I'm G1 equals CV load image loading the image file minus color img dot jpeg once I have loaded the image img hsv equals cv create image so we get size of img1 8,3 next Bin mg bin equals cv create image mg1 get size of okay. now cv cvd color mg1 comma mg hsv comma cv dg of hsv okay next cv in range s mg hsv comma min c comma max c comma ing pin okay until this the first stage is complete that means we have filtered the image based upon the color and the next one is to find the contours uh, okay uh, for finding the contours in, in OpenCV uh, there is a function called cv find contours which runs a variable, I mean, which runs an uh, integer value. So you can just initialize uh, a variable called as int nc equals uh, c find contours function like this, or you can just call the function directly. I don't want to detect the number of contours inside the image, I want only the filtering operations, that is, the contour filtering operations. So I'll just de uh, define the function as like this itself. Okay, this function accepts uh, several parameters or several arguments. Okay, first one is the source image that is the img bin that the source image should be a binary image not the colored image or anything like that only in a binary image the contours can be detected if you input uh, the you know uh, if you input any color image inside this function uh, it will give an error so next one is the storage variable which i have declared earlier here same m storage uh, variable next one is the contour variable cv6 contour variable and the next one is the size of the contour loader dot size of image size of type is cv contour cv contour dot class okay and the next one next way uh, next argument is the retrieval method in uh, cv find contour function uh, the uh, there are several arguments uh, or there are several methods to retrieve the list of the contours uh, i'll just mention one of that that is cv ret list so this is one method of retrieving the contours and once the contours have been retrieved from an image we need to approximate those contours so this parameter this argument will approximate the contours and the next last argument is the offset point that is c point zero comma zero i want to start uh, you know find the contours from the initial point that is cv zero point uh, cv point of zero comma zero okay once we have found the contours and uh, all those contours will be stored in the contour one variable contour one memory location uh, you know before going into finding the area of the contours i will just copy this contour uh, one into the another variable called contour two equals contour one. I'll just explain this, uh, you know, later. Why I am uh, why I'm copying this uh, contour one to the contour two. Okay, next statement. Uh, next uh, thing is to calculate the area of each contours. Inside this contour one, all the contours are, you know, stored in a uh, you know one particular list form or in particular sequence. So we need to uh, take out each of them inside a loop, and we need to uh, calculate uh, the area of all the contours inside. Uh, 
we need to calculate area of all the con uh, contours one by one so in order to do that i'll just go with while loop while contour one is not equal to null and contour one is dot is null okay next one is the area C equals C V contour area. Okay, this function accepts uh, two arguments, uh, three arguments. First one is the contour. Next one is the slice variable. That is C V whole seek. Okay, slice variable is one which allows the user or which allows us to access the specific subset in a whole set okay once we have got the area of the contour we need to compare it with the maximum area that is if area c is greater than area max max then area max is equal to area c okay how do you find the area max in here as thousand uh, once the area, I mean, if the calculated area C, that means the, uh, the one particular contour's uh, area is greater than the area max, then that particular contour's area is, uh, you know, assigned as area. Okay. The next segment is to loop. You know, next segment is to uh, you know, get uh, get the pointer to the next contour in a sequence. So this is how it works. Once it has got the next contour, it goes on in here and checks if that contour is null or not. Uh, if it is not null, that contour's area is calculated and is checked with the uh, uh, maximum area. If it has got the maximum area, then it, uh, that contour ha will be assigned as the ma area max, uh, and so on uh, until the all the contour's area has been detected. This function, uh, this loop executes. So once uh, we are out of the loop, the area max variable will have the uh, value of that contour which has got the maximum area inside that inside that one particular image okay next stage is to filter off all the other contours considering only the maximum one okay another while loop okay in here i'm going to use contour 2 because okay in here i'm going to use contour 2 because once this contour one is inside this while loop and has been executed, um, you know it cannot be used or it can't be reused inside another loop. It will give us an error. So I just made the backup copy of this contour one inside the contour two, and now I'm I'm going to use the same list to filter off the all the other contours. Now uh, again same function that is AFC equals C V contour area. We are going to calculate. Okay. Contour two C V whole seek comma one. Next if area C is less than area max less than area max. I'm just going to use this function to fill up all the other contours except the maximum one with a black color. So this function accepts uh, several arguments. MG bin. First one is the the image which has the got the contours. Uh, the first one is the binary image, and the next one is the contours. Next one is the color CV RGB of uh, zero zero zero. Zero comma zero. Zero comma C V fill operation eight comma C V point zero comma zero. Okay, so okay next next is contour two 
equals control two dot h next once we are out of this loop the image bin will contain only that particular pattern which has got the maximum area only that particular contour which has got the maximum area inside it so once we got that we need to display them Let's show image first i'll display the color image img1 next i'll display the contour filter image cf okay cv play key after that cv release image g1 mg bin and hsv after that cv release mem storage storage okay we just save the program and i'll just copy this color dot jpeg into the project directory just if i paste color img just click on run okay here we have color image and the contour filtered image okay if we I mean if I want to display the the color filter image I'll just uh, you know, put a statement in here see we show in binary comma mg pin on the program now here we have color, binary and the contour filtered image. If I am interested in the green pattern, I will just change the values as 40 and 80 and run the program. Okay, here we have the green patterns are detected and the green color square is detected in here. Okay, this was about the still images. Okay, if you want to use this program for the live webcam video, Need to just slightly alter the program I'll just show you okay now uh, I have altered the program for uh, to work with the webcam okay now let's run this program I'll just click on run okay, here it is okay in here and in this window I can see the live webcam video and in here I can see the contour filtered frames which are being played okay that's all for the fifth java saving tutorial keep visiting my blog engineervisions.boxpot.in for more details and updates about this tutorial